With the Box for Teams integration, you can use the content you have in Box through the familiar interface of Box for Teams. To use Box for Teams, your admin will first need to enable the integration. If a team member has already installed the Box for Teams integration, you'll see a welcome message in your Teams channel, a box icon in your extension tray, and a Box Files tab to access the content associated with the specific Teams channel. If a team member hasn't already installed the integration for your team or channel, it's easy to get started. In the left-hand navigation, click Apps and search for Box. You can choose to either add Box to a team or to a chat. Click Setup. After enabling the integration, you'll be able to access content that has already been shared in the channel. Box automatically creates two new folders you can view in the Box web app, a Microsoft Teams chat files folder, which stores all content shared across all Teams chats, and a Microsoft Teams folder, which stores your Teams channel content. In this video, you'll learn how you can easily upload Box content while working in Teams. To upload a local file in a channel or chat, click on the Box icon at the bottom of the screen. Drag and drop the file you want to upload, or click Browse to navigate through your local file structure. After uploading, Box displays the file's content card. After your file is uploaded, you'll also be able to see the file in your Box Files tab. Any users in the channel will be automatically added as collaborators on the uploaded file, ensuring everyone has access. In this video, you'll learn how to edit your Box Files directly in Teams. After navigating to the Office file or Box note you wish to edit, the file will open in the corresponding editor. Now you can make changes to your file without leaving Teams. If multiple people are editing a document, their names appear in the upper right corner. Your collaborator's text cursor appears in a unique color, and their name will be displayed next to it. Changes will be automatically saved to Box. In this video, you'll learn how you can easily share and access Box content while working in Teams. You can share files that have already been uploaded to Box, eliminating the need to flip back and forth between programs. You can select your permission level before sharing in Teams. After selecting your file, Box will display a quick preview of your file, and admins will have granular controls for what information is shared with whom in this file preview. You can also paste shared links into your Teams channel or chat. If someone in your channel or chat doesn't have access to the content shared, Teams will automatically prompt you to adjust file permissions so they can access it. In this video, you'll learn how you can use the Box Files tab to manage your Box content in Teams. Each Teams channel will auto-generate a Box Files tab. Box will automatically deploy a default folder to manage your Teams channel's Box content, as well as collaborate each member into the channel's Box folder. The team owner can also choose a different box folder or create a new box folder to store content that is shared in the channel. All content shared in this channel will be automatically uploaded to this folder. 
In the Box Files tab, you can create new files or upload existing files to Box, all within Teams. You can also preview and open files to edit. Now you can choose the productivity platform that works best for you, whether it's Microsoft Office on the desktop, on the web, or even Google Slides.